Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Plus Three Futures and Commodities Show, the midweek edition. We are recording about a half an hour after the close on Tuesday, the 29th of October. My name is Ben Maldonado. As always, I'm here with my partner, Barry Hedarachi. Barry, the month's almost over. October of all months, right? <laughs> yeah, and the two trading days left and we're done. So today's show, we're going to cover... The, there's a big, big week for tech earnings this week. So we're going to cover some of those stocks. We're going to quickly cover the S&P, cover NQs, cover Bitcoin. It's going to be, the, it's a speed round, as you know. We're going to try and cover as much stuff that, that actually moved in the last couple of days to give you an update. So without any further ado, let's jump right in on the S&P. All right. This is the 90 that we've been playing with. And the reason why you guys always see this is because price is always <laughs> it's been here pretty much most of uh, October. Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought when you said end of the end of the month. October was relatively quiet. Yeah. Must have been one of the quietest on on the books. But you know what I see when I look at that? Mm -hmm. Threatening <laughs> to get stuck under. Yeah, we're definitely starting to do that. And that's, you know, I was going to talk about that a little bit. The, the the fact that we, you know, we hung around, we, you know, sure we came up and, you know, banged on 90. And the fact that we didn't get about, you know, Obviously, that's the thing, and we're starting to form a little triangle. Mm -hmm. You know, which side that's going to break, we'll have to wait and watch. Uh, either way, we, with or without the triangle, this fifty-eight ninety-two is the level to watch. So far, we have our lower high here, mm -hmm. right? Two bars ago, we had an inside bar, mm -hmm. and we kind of took the low out in the morning, and you know, quickly picked up the pieces mm -hmm. <laughs> back up there. You know, really not giving a clue, right? It's it's really not uh, getting pushed one way or the other, and I'm not so sure, you know, if, if something big is going to happen before the election, but but we'll see. Staying with the charts, we're back to 58.92. This is the level where you guys really need to watch. And you know, the other thing I was going to add about lower highs or or hanging around this level, you know, we did come back a quarter square here. We checked back on the structural support mm -hmm. in the big picture. And and now we're rallying, rallying to the ninety again. And I'm, I, I, I feel like if we close, if we somehow get above this now, we're gonna go higher. Yep. It just, it's just in books, right? It's just baked into this pattern. Now, if we can somehow, if we roll over without taking out the high, what is that? Fifty nine twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fifty nine twenty seven a quarter. So if we, if that high holds. And we start to roll over. Obviously, we need to take a look at that and get positioned properly. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, it's amazing how sticky these 90s become, especially in a sort of a critical month like October, right? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, we, you know, we talk about squaring out and, and, you know, what happens when price and time balances. And, you know, here's a good example of one. Uh, you, you see, we don't hang around for a long time. It, it, it quickly, uh, the mind quickly gets made up and we start going the other way. And mm -hmm. same thing here, you know, we, we came in, put in the high, really didn't waste a lot of time. But you can see what happens when we put a lot of time in, like especially this like, you know, second half of the year, you know, we, we tend to spend a lot of time consolidating and this is starting to feel like it. Of course, you know, you always say you got to think like a criminal when it comes to the markets. And yeah, <laughs> so it has to fool both sides. That's my take, right? That's what you mean by that. So if you're bullish, you could easily say, well, it's going to consolidate and run. Well, all right, we can get along with that. If you're bearish, you could say, well, look, it's making a lower high. It's stuck here. It's not quite going, and, and it should definitely go lower. And when the, you know, with this kind of a pattern, it, either side could be eventually right, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Yep. So, so instead of you know relying too much on that, we'll, we'll just get back to the ninety, get back to the levels. And we're going to look at a couple of different levels and then we'll hop onto these stocks, which is really going to be cool because we're going to look at uh, just the weekly charts because it'll give you an entirely different perspective coming into these highs that we're working with. So we'll get to that in a minute. So for the futures, 58.92 is really the level to watch basis the daily. Either we get above that or we're going to continue to consolidate. Now that we did that quarter square correction, you know, so 57.97 level becomes really the you know if you're going to do a b c d d that becomes a pivot so we really mm -hmm. have that's the level low to take out for a long-term correction and don't forget where the one by one is you know we're way over here so it, it's it's um market's still very strong and we we shouldn't sign it off too quickly mm -hmm. 
All right, that's the futures. And if we look at the cash chart, is the calendar day cash. Same story. Pretty much the same story. You know, you can't really get around this. Again, here's a one by one. You can see how tightly it's holding it really well. You know, it, it's doing great. Uh, of course, once it breaks it and so forth and so on, it's another story. Now, one thing we picked up a while back was, you know, we had this on November 3rd. We have uh, 90 uh, calendar days from the August low. And the fact that we're going 90 by 90 right here, it, it's something we really have to watch. I mean, either that's going to uh, be big. Know, yeah, I think it, it should be big, especially since, you know, October was sort of sleepy, more or less. Most of the month was not much, right? Yeah, we had a couple of days run, but nothing, nothing huge. Mm -mm. So, you know, either we're going to hit nine, 90 by 90 and square out and correct to balance that out. Since exactly it's it's since the trend is right on top of the one by one the entire time, right? So it's it's interesting to see how it's going to come out, or it's you know there's a much larger cycle. It's going to pull it up and hold it above. In this case, uh, fifty eight forty eight. Once we settled above that, then we have a whole you know all kinds of trading to the long side. Mm -hmm. so I I feel like it's funny. It 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 really is sort of a balance point. You know, either we get on top of this or or not. Mainly why, well, it's always kind of the case, but when you throw time in with November 3rd coming right around the corner, and that uh, happens to be 90 from the low before the high, hey, you know, it, it, it's, it it's becomes, significant. Yeah, it, it, it's it's something to pay attention to and, and, and not get ahead of yourself. All right, so let's, I guess we don't have to look at the weeklies, but what I do want to do is look at the 30-minute for the 30 minute gang and just to make some sense out of 30 minute. So Trapped. here's trap. <laughs> you know, that's like October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that half square, man. Yeah. It's super strong. So yeah, mm -hmm. October is pretty much, that's probably the key word for October. Uh, anyway, we are starting to make settle for lower, lower lows. Unlike we were, you know, up in here before mm -hmm. the uh, rebel yell came in. Yep. Now we're starting to get a little bit sloppy. We're not quite getting up to the 5902 level. Uh, like today, we got through. Yeah, that was a little bit of a flush. We're starting to look a little soft. For the next few days, I think, I don't know, this is so tightly tra trapped, there's not much to say. But as long as we're above 5858, you guys, I think you know we can definitely uh, jump up and tap 5902. And at that point, we really want to see uh, if, if the price is choosing to hold above that or we're failing again so i feel like if we hit 5902 or even go a little bit to challenge this um october 17th high and then roll over get stuck below 5886 you know that could get us rolling to the downside a little bit of course elections around the corner so i'm not sure how to wrap all of that up so i'm just going to stick with the numbers 58 58 and 5902 really is the level two levels to watch strong above 5902 and 5858 can be the sort of the cutoff if we get stuck below that 5814 5720 becomes within it comes into reach right it's on the mm -hmm. it gets closer much closer because i'm not if we get take out 5814 because of all the other things that are lined up like this 90 by 90 that's at the end of the week could be a whoosh yeah during those times we're not we can't really be sitting as well. It could go up or down. No, no. If it takes these out, it's going to go down. <laughs> it's very big right. because those windows, you, you have to really be alert for those kind of moves. So we'll see how that plays out for now. Yeah, not much. I mean, I hate to say it, it's kind of a boring chart. It, it's one of those Octobers, can I say? Yeah, it's a midweek, but I just really want to remind everybody like we're at this, at this really critical square. It's 144 degrees up on the weekly by a 108. Mm -hmm. um, and we have that, you know, circle geometry playing in there. And we're just about, uh, unless we really make up the speed in the next three days and run out, run in, run up into like 59.50 or so, this is the cash, we are moving out of the circle. So that's, and into the square. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. On And with that same November 3rd date as the 108. Exactly. We have that 90 by 90 uh, kind of topping off this, 144 by 108. You've seen that before, right, Ben? When when you have a longer cycle and then you inside of that, we have a daily cycle that's also mm. squaring out. They, it's big. Yeah, they can end up becoming 
pretty huge. So this is why we're a little bit on alert, a little bit on our toes to make sure, you know, we get through this proper properly. And isn't it wild that all this stuff independent of this election is hitting right when this election is happening? That's incredible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it always blows me away. <laughs> it does. And not to and mention, no matter- isn't that FOMC the same week? Like, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of this. So we have the FOMC, we have the election, we have the circle, we got squares. I mean, there's no way this is going to be like a non-event, obviously. No. No. Um, so we have to be alert. I mean, looking at all of this, it, it definitely looks like, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a correction uh, into December, you know, if I were to step out, right? Mm-hmm. But if we hold above this 58.10. It could accelerate. Point, yeah, we can accelerate and really kind of blow it out mm-hmm. and establish or, you know, the market could establish some value above this. And, you know, we could just act like gold. <laughs> we, it's hard to say. <laughs> right. Markets can get wild, man. So yep. especially when these key levels don't um, respond the way uh, that they would normally do, you know, price and time balancing and then correcting and picking up, uh, picking up again. So if that doesn't happen, then they really go wild. So, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's take a look at the... So what would we want to look at some stocks today? Yep. Earnings this week. Yes. Take a look at that. When you went, mentioned that before the show, I was like, oh my God, let me pull out the old charts. And some of these, you guys, we have looked at, I don't know how many months ago or years ago. So th- those uh, videos are in, in the archive. You guys can check it out. And if you, get like, if you guys like our work, you know, please remember to like, subscribe, and, and uh, hit the alerts. So this is, this is Google, quite a ride. What do you notice here? Well, the first thing I noticed was coming off the low, I'm looking looking at the 08 low being the low. Looks like it's squared out. Man, look at, we're up 360 degrees. And, mm-hmm. you know, when we tapped it, I mean, that was a high that we were looking at back in July. You know, that could, that was going to be a big high. We weren't quite sure how the S&P would play out, but Google did certainly played out well. You know, we'd had a really good correction, you know, almost 90 degrees, which is, you know, that's a normal sort of a healthy correction, right? That's what we should have mm-hmm. uh, normally. And this was a square and a half here. So this running up 360 degrees, uh, we haven't taken it out yet. That's that's the key thing here. So what happens then? Well, what happens then is the correction is not quite done. <laughs> and I could easily see an ABCD coming down into maybe 270 degrees, you know, check this check this low and uh, consolidate and move on. Mm-hmm. So so this is, this we have to consider that the, the high was already in. I mean, we we're 810, mm-hmm. a few bars off, but 810 by 360 is not bad as far as- uh, Squares. As far as squares go. And if you go from the higher low, I mean, there's another way to, I mean, there's a couple of different ways to slice this thing. Mm-hmm. You can see that 810 was right in there between these lows. Yeah. So, as far as weeks go, that's a pretty decent square. So and we're working on a lower high. That's exactly. And <laughs> that lower high is the one that could end up becoming an ABCD and get down mm-hmm. to here. Mm-hmm. So here's the other thing, Ben. We're 90 weeks. You know, we're one bar off to 90 weeks when we nice. were you know, in that July high. There's another case for 90 weeks, right? We've been looking at 90 weeks and there's a, there's a good case for that. Sure. The other low that, I, I mean, this is sort of the other second low that really got the volatility started oh look at that that's a 2020 low mm-hmm. legit low right we can't say oh there that's not a good low i mean every right. low in twenty. there's no curve fitting there you're on the no low. no it's, <laughs> it's that so what do we see here first we see a 180 by 90 you know we squared out sure it wasn't a quick sloppy tap, tap and a drop but yeah a little sloppy but you know the high came in and we would know by the time it couldn't hold above right here so did that? Did we lose anything by waiting for that confirmation? No, we got nope. a nice ABCD down, caught the whole thing. Anyway, the point is from that low. That's really harmonic too, Barry, because you corrected ninety in time, yes. or actually forty-five in 45, time. There, yeah. forty-five in time. Very nice. It, it's, mm-hmm. it's, uh, so the weeklies are, I think, we, we, weeklies are sort of beautiful in that sense. Y- you have a lot less noise, so the, the picture is cleaner. You know, the one bar is one week. You don't have the weekends and all that other things thrown in there to deal with. So anyway, what happened here? So so that kicked in, like you said, we corrected for 180, I mean, 45 days, I mean, 45 weeks mm-hmm. and started back up again. And that run, 
is the 90 we just looked at. That's the 90 weeks. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. So what do we have here? You know, we have a 90, 45 correction and a 90. Okay. Pretty and, damn good. Yeah. And so who's not, who's to say we couldn't have another 45 correction or, you know, something along those lines and then, then back up. Sure. But the key thing is how much upside is left. Well, you know, obviously a little bit more upside. I mean, we can go all the way up to 186 and still be just fine or 176. So we got about $10 upside. Mm -hmm. And to the downside, obviously any week, weekly reversals at, after this is really important because we're, we're starting to move higher. This will be the higher low until this is taken out. So we have to watch for that. Why? Well, we had this squaring out. So this is why. And you guys saw the numbers, the, the weekly counts that are all adding up. And that's important. So a lot of things are adding up into that high. And um, so that's, you want to add anything to that? I, I think it's super harmonic. Great picture. You got the levels there. And and there's a strong case could be made that that, that high was, in, was an important square. Absolutely. Two, uh, 270 by 225. It's, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a strong square. Mm -hmm. And and the harmonics in the degrees movement and, and the movement in time. Mm -hmm. So all of that said, upside, I would say about 10 bucks and the downside could be all the way down to the square, you know, 140 bucks, which would be a great place to uh, watch. And the midpoint, the 50% level for Google would be about 163. Mm -hmm. So anything about 163, I would say the market's in pretty decent condition as far as pullbacks go, if, if they're holding above here. But if we get under, we get stuck there, then I think that's going to continue down to at least to check the 180. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. That's it's a good it's I'm glad I'm glad um we, we, we started looking at these. These are good. Yeah. Next one is Microsoft. Microsoft. And we looked at this a while back. I just I didn't have time to go back and check when we looked at it. I don't want to take a lot of time on Microsoft, just to say, you know, just give you guys sort of the midweek uh the, the short version of it. Above one three ninety four, the market is in really good shape. It's firm, you know, no, no problem. Um, above four thirty nine, I think we can go up and challenge the old high, and maybe even go a little bit higher to tap four eighty four, which is one hundred and thirty five degrees up from the twenty twenty two low. Okay, and that's what's in the card. We did have a ninety. You did a ninety week there yeah, again. We did a ninety week. I mean, plus or minus two bars is not bad for ninety weeks. And we were pretty much in there. So, uh, but we didn't quite get that price, right? So I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, we could run back up there and, and do a false break or something of the sort or a lower <laughs> high, which, you know, uh, we, we could do. Either yeah. way, 439 is a level to watch. As long as we're below that, uh, this uh, 135 degree level up, or you can call it the 90 week run is in place and we could continue to consolidate or correct. And below 394, obviously something's wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. There will be much more to go. First stop being about 348. So that's the story with Microsoft. If we go above that way. So 439 is really the key to watch. Are we okay there? Yep. Okay. Next Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here, and the name is here because we, I guess we talked about it a while back. And, and, yeah. and just to take the short version of it, it has a little bit more to go. So I would say 628 or 630 is really the level up there where the 135 degree uh, line comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talked about it last, I think we were talking about this half square, this 539 level, you know, how that's resistance. And you can see, we, you know, we pretty much held in there for a while. And, and to the support level, 90 held here. You can see how well the weekly traded within the 90, right? It, mm -hmm. Very, very clean. And once we broke, we so it just this break just really looks like we're going to go and tap 630. Obviously, any corrections above 439, 440 is um, super healthy. Okay, here we have Apple. Again, Apple's got some really interesting uh, numbers here. But I would say for now, it's between 208 and 254. There's a zone here. And long as it's above 208, I'm giving a little bit of space, but the 180 degree line is around 215. Let's call it 216 mm -hmm. uh, to 254. So, you know, you can, here's a good, I mean, a really good example of, you know, getting above, holding above, other than this little sort of the flush here. So the fact that it held 
and it's you know uh, yeah maybe a little sloppy but it's moving higher uh, looks like we can definitely get to 254 and i would expect it to go up and tap 260 261 to the upside and if we do that we're also running about 135 degrees from this low so things are lining up so that that becomes a very kind of a tractor um, I also put uh, the reason I have these drawn out a little below is I looked at it from other other key lows in the past. We don't we just don't have time to go through each one, but I marked them up, and this is kind of where the where we get the box, the, you know, box value box, I guess. Mm -hmm. And this is the lower end of it, and this is the higher part of it. We're you know we're more or less in the middle, <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And those are the only ones we oh we can do Amazon. Yeah, so Amazon is actually pretty cool uh we have i'm going i'm going off the uh 2015 low because that's where we um well i guess that's where we launched yep and it's a good place to start uh what else can i add here and it gives you a nice square at 360 <laughs> that's the other thing we are we hit 360 back in um back in july mm -hmm. and pretty much like what was it google right that did pretty much the same thing yeah and we corrected 90 also very healthy so you know that week was a week to catch that you know we, we you know we held about 270 and then we ran back up 90 and a little bit correction but not quite you know it didn't quite get above the 360 and 360 here it would be 196 dollars so 196 is what we have to get above the 50 percent level would be 170 173 so 173 and 196 right those are the mm -hmm. two levels so what do we think about the high well i think obviously i can't put some time for price out of nowhere but we had it here <laughs> in july yeah and we did correct nicely and even from the low in in um 22 20 uh, january 23 low we ran up decent numbers so so everything looks okay. Are we going to go higher or lower post this? Well, it, it comes to the 360. We're just, you know, 196 is really the key to watch. And we're not, it's, isn't it amazing? We're just six bucks from it <laughs> or three bucks from it. We're not too it, far. So I mean, it, it, it gives us a good view of why the NQs haven't been able to make a new high since July. Exactly. Very good. Yeah. That's the, good these option. major, major, you know, weightings in that index, in, index yeah. are just, are, or you know, struggling well, to make well, new all highs. the big tech squared out in July. You know, yeah, that, that's kind of what happened. Yep, and we corrected, so we did a decent correction. In fact, you know, the big question now, looking at all of it, like in summary, is you know, was that correction enough? Was that really what was required, or is it is this part of a bigger theme that's developing? You know, right where we roll there. over here and really go down. Yeah, mainly because, and the reason I would say that is not because it, you know any other number because it's a three sixty and three sixty is sort of a number of completion full so circle did, full circle so did we did we complete a circle here that's kind of the you know one of those circles here mm -hmm. that's sort of the question i mean we did 360 360 weeks from there you can see that put in a high mm -hmm. and uh and look at the correction from that <laughs> Just yeah that was high. pretty big so you know when time gets traction this is why you know gan talked about time being so important you know when it gets traction boy you know it can really move and also we made a, a low on the 270 mm -hmm. and we took off right so so the timing is working pretty well on the weekly so um so the july high is the one to watch uh, until that's taken out we have to look at it as the highs in place uh, even with this correction you know what i mean absolutely so in in as far as that goes we have to wait till 196 you know we either we resolve and get on top of it or we you know get stuck below that so that's the thing to watch even that's not really enough on basis the weekly if you want to look at the big picture you really want this 173 level to be taken out also so it, mm -hmm. obviously you can make some you know you can make some money on the trade uh, selling it from here up to the 50% but up until the 50% is taken out it's doing okay mainly because we did the 90 correction right any 45s or less here is bullish Mm -hmm. And above 196 is where, where we're going to take off. And I had a couple of monthly charts. I don't have a, just for a few. This, these are the funds of probably one of the shows we've done. Mm -hmm. And here's Meta. You know, look look at the monthly. If you just look at the 36, you know, we have a 36 up here. 
it's possible we go up and tap that. And that's at, well, it'd be funny if it was 666. Let's go with that. <laughs> so it could be <laughs> meta hitting 666 would be the thing, right? And why not? We're not that far from it. And and it looks like it's it's going for going for broke. So let it do that. Here's Microsoft. This is, yeah, we, you know, we looked at this. Well, I don't know if you remember, probably in 2020, somewhere in here. Not 2020. It was probably after 2022. And because I had put this ABCD in here, and this chart is the same one how it was left. Anyway, we got to a 90 up here and we stalled out pretty much the same story. Like July high came in at a 90. I'm sure if we change the scale, that would be a 360. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we really didn't get above that. So that's that's you know sort of another way to look at it. And here we have uh, Google, you know, coming from the 2010 low, 2010 low. It's, it's a 90. Yeah, I'm trying to see how I saw. I saw another. Oh, right here. No, that's not a 90. That's one. So 72, 90, right? Mm -hmm. Then from here, hold on. Let me make it easy. There you go. Yeah, 54. Mm -hmm. I had a 54 somewhere in my head because I rushed through all of these really fast. Right. Okay. So from the 22 low, we we were up 54 degrees. Super important level. And that high again is holding, right? It's very mm-hmm. steady. And this is becoming sort of a lower, lower high up until that gets taken out. And mm-hmm. if you go back to the 2008 um, lows, 2008 lows, we're up 90. Uh, we're up to 90 from there. We corrected to 72. You can see how 72 held it, you know, back in 21, mm-hmm. causing that almost a full square correction down here. So, yeah. Lower high month basis a monthly until we take out the high, and the level to watch there would be uh, basis the weekly would be like 180, 187, let's say we'll call it that. So Barry, if you had to summarize these bellwether stocks in in you know these bellwether tech stocks, what would be your summary of these longer term charts? The weekly. Well, you know they're monthly. all on either it already made a high squared out and making a lower high, or they're mm-hmm. really close to making a new high. Uh, reaching a key level on the squares. That's, right. I think that's what it looks like. So, I mean, here, for example, Apple, you know, no lower high here, but sure enough, it, it's it's at the midpoint between these two levels and either we reach here and terminate that leg or we fail here and terminate it. Apple looks fairly okay. Amazon, not so much because we already had the high come in and we're reaching out for the second part. Meta, Meta could go a little more. Meta could go, but technically, it's still a lower. <laughs> it's still a lower right. high. Yeah. And uh, let's see what happens. I mean, obviously, all of these are going to be affected to some degree after the um, after the earnings comes out. Microsoft, same thing, lower, lower high. Google, lower high. Pretty much what you were talking about, uh, Nasdaq. How how Nasdaq haven't it hasn't been able to make a, a new high. Yeah. So it, it's it's sort of stuck there. At the same time, the flip side is if something really positive happens, it would be very easy to just flip over to the top of the square and run. So all of mm-hmm. these guys are very close to that. How's that? It's, a, it's an interesting fork in the road, isn't it? Yeah, especially timing wise with the election and <laughs> yeah. FOMC right after a couple of days after that, right? And and it's huge. Uh, and all these other timing coming in is definitely a key. I think from here to the end of the month is going to probably define a, a lot. Yeah, for, if not for the next, well, clearly it's going to define the next four years. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but I think yeah, it's one of those pivot levels. So let's watch it carefully, and let me put it back to you. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the Nasdaq, and and uh, Bitcoin's about to break. Looks yep. like. Yep. Let's take yep. a look at that. And, and, uh, Much uh, like the components that he, you know, Barry just reviewed, we're at a critical spot. Mm-hmm. We got to get above twenty thousand eight thirty eight and sit on top of it. And, you know, and take out that high. Yeah, certainly a false break setup too scenario. Can't can't deny that. Yes. Uh, let's look at the calendar day because we were looking at this one. So we're still crisscrossing, and you know we we're getting stuck, and we're still crisscrossing this twenty six twenty five. So we but got, to the upside, like today, we really pulled up. You know? We pushed it up. Yep. And we did a little. You know, although it was an inside bar, we did a, like an outside mm-hmm. reversal off that inside bar. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's the same thing as the components, right? We we need to see, are we going to fail here and roll over? Are we going to push up, sit on top, make new highs and, and start the next leg? And that's the uh, 
multi-million dollar question right now. And the number is 625 and we're right there. <laughs> right there, right there. Let's jump over to Bitcoin quickly. We want to keep this short. This is lightning round. How nice is that, huh? Pretty good, pretty good. And remember, we were talking about this, how we were disappointed that we got last weekend. We were talking about how we were disappointed that we got stuck b below here, mm -hmm. but that this was all in the consolidation. And when you looked at the monthly, you can't be bearish. It's all bullish. And here's your resolution. Look at where the high is today, Barry, right on that square. Man, that's incredible. <laughs> there's that 666 again. But, yeah, there's uh, here's your numbers, guys. <laughs> These are your numbers, Yeah, right? So now it's 73,666. We want to sit on top of that. If not, we got to stay on top of 67,850, which is a half square. And you take a look at the monthly. And this is why we were bullish, right? Mm -hmm. We said all this garbage that's gone on for the last seven, eight months is at or in the middle of where the new highs, or the old highs were. Yeah. And then we were talking about when this inside bar, when the high of that inside bar got taken out, that was the clue. And it was, and the whole dance was right above the square, main square level. I mean, that yeah. was the thing, right? Long as it was above that, it, it yeah. had to kind of, it, it stayed primed. And it looks like we're going to get that monthly close over there, which will be bullish. And then we target the full square, which is, you know, over 80,700. Mm -hmm. So Bitcoin looks bullish. Very bullish. And and that uh, that is the midweek show. Uh, we're going to cover the commodities in in um, in full on the on the next Friday show on the weekend show, but you know gold keeps running. Bitcoin's now in the game. The NQs, as Barry showed you with the components, and and I showed you with the index index, they're at decision point, and and we have the levels, so we watch the levels and we react based on that. Yeah, not much in bo uh, bonds and crude. They're kind of in the same levels we talked about last Friday. So we didn't have to, you know, we don't have to yeah. cover that. Yeah. yeah. But that's, I mean, anything else you want to add, Barry, before we wrap it up? No, just that it seems like looking at all the squares and timing that's coming up. Well, like some of the ones we saw, the 90s that are coming up and there are some mm -hmm. other shorter term squares. And so it looks like really that, I mean, not even because of the election, just the timing the next week or two is going to be really important. I'm thinking more for head fakes than anything else. Yep. So just to, you know, just, just to um, keep your head on a swivel. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's the key. All right, everybody have a great rest of the week and we'll talk to you on Friday. Good job, Ben. We'll talk Thanks, to you soon. Barry. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye.